Andrew McCart, IFL TV and Association with MTK Global. I'm here in Frisco, te Texas. Delighted to be joined by Cal Yufai. Cal, I've just spoke to you off camera there. I was like, you're like a ghost. I've not seen you all week since I've been here, man. Where you been? Um, I I've been out and about. I just missed you, that's all. <laughs> I've been playing football around the back. Okay. American football. American football. <laughs> American football. Well, let's talk about why we're here. Huge fight against Chocolate Tito. You've, you spoke at the press conference there. You admire him. You, you, you're like a fan of his work. I mean, how do you get into the mindset of becoming a fighter then to fight somebody that you admire so much? How do you just switch? I'm, I'm, I'm there now. You're there now? I'm there now. I know what i got to do. Um, Saturday night, it will all come together. And um, I'll just I'll just channel, channel in. And yeah, I'm, re I'm ready to do work. I've never been so ready in my life. Um, I've done everything I can do. I'm in the best position I've been in in a very long time. Um, everything's just everything's just going down perfectly for me. I think this is meant to be. Is this the breakthrough fight that you've needed? I mean, you're, you're the Britain's longest reigning champion, but is this the fight that you need? The name that you need to make you break through and possibly get these unification fights in the future? Hundred percent, yeah. Um, you know, the unification fight was done. But obviously, as the rider pulled out of the fight, and then Eddie managed to get me this big fight with Chocolatito, one fight that I've been wanting for the last couple of years since I won the title. Um, me and Eddie have talked about it quite a lot um, over the last three years. So um, I just believe it's a, it's my destiny. I believe it's one of them things that I've thought about a lot over the last couple of years about winning that fight. It's pretty. I've made it pretty vocal how how much I wanted that fight, and um, it's here, and I'm just so excited. Do you feel any pressure, being that you are Britain's longest reigning champion, to not go out there and lose tomorrow night? Nah, pr pressure's pressure. Prefer I find pressure a privilege mm. because, like I've said, like I've said before, there's billions of people on this planet, but only a selected hand handful of people will get to know what this pressure feels like doing this. Mm -hmm. So um, I find that a privilege, and um, I'm, I'm truly blessed to be in this position. Um, and I'm just so excited. I've, I've been excited for the last 12 weeks. I've been training, excited. I've been excited while I've been training. I'm buzzing. I can't wait. Um, this is my time to go and show the world what I'm capable of doing. All going well Saturday night. Are you going to call for the unification? Are you going to speak to Eddie and say, listen, now's the time. I want a strata. I don't care where it is. Just bring them to me. I just want the biggest fights possible. Um, and that is the biggest fight possible. Um, it has to happen. Um, if for some reason he's not, he's not available, he's not there, then I have to go after another champion. Um, but I, I, I ain't looking at that yet. I'm just concentrating on this fight. I've been looking at, I've been looking at uh, Chocolatito for a long time, like I've said, and um, I just can't wait. I can't wait till that bell goes on Saturday night, and I, I think everybody's in for a, for an amazing treat. Just not just your fight, the whole card top to bottom. And every time you're talking about the fight, you've got a big smile on your face. So you're almost as excited as me as a fan. Mate, it's just madness. Like I'm here and it, like I'm fighting on this massive card. I'm back here in the US once again. I'm a road warrior. I get on with it, um, and I'm defending my title against a modern day legend, a few future Hall of Famer, former pound pound king. It doesn't get much bigger than that. So um, I've got, to, I've got to enjoy it. I've got to soak it all in and enjoy it all. Definitely, definitely. We've seen one Brit on Saturday night, Tyson Fury, go out there and grab that WBC title off uh, Deontay Wilder. First of all, what was your thoughts on the fight and do you draw any inspiration watching Fury take that belt back home to the UK? Oh, most definitely. Um, we were across the road in, um, in a place called the Concrete Bar watching it and um, man, it was like, unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Um, I was very happy for Tyson. Obviously, I've known Tyson a long time. Travelled around the world with him as junior boxers. Um, and man, he, he proved everyone wrong and I'll get some inspiration from that because I know there's doubters out there that are doubting me for Saturday night but um, I know what I'm capable of doing I know what I've put into this and um, yeah, 100% I've taken some inspiration from it Finally, before I let you go because the media's behind me once again and the, the, every time I interview a fighter they're right behind me queuing up um, What can the fans, what can I as a fan expect from you on Saturday night? Um, a win, 100% a win and um, you'll see the breakout performance for me and I'll turn into a star here in the US. Perfect way to end this interview. Cal, good to see you again, my brother, and uh, good luck on Saturday night. See you soon, champ. Appreciate it.